Well, hi guys. How are you doing today? Hope everybody's well. Um, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to um, do a screen recording and I'm going to go through a number of vans, number of options with the um, idea of choices to live in. And I'm going to go through uh, pros and cons. Um, basically, of course, all based on my opinion and what suits my needs. So they may not be uh, exactly what you're looking for or exactly matched up to what you want to do, but uh, this is what's going to work for me. Anyway, um, all right, let's get to it. All right, guys, let's go through some um, options here. This is, uh, what year is this one? 19... Does it even say? Where did the year go? No year. I think it's like in mid-90s. So 5.8 liter V8. Oh, 1996. There it is. Um, so this one, obviously not stealthy. Yeah, let's take another look at it. But it looks in really good condition. Um, it's got a really nice interior. I mean, it's obviously been well cared for. Uh, I actually really like this interior. Let's see another one here. Now, why wouldn't I buy this van? Well, there's a couple of reasons. I don't need a bathroom. I don't want to deal with um, draining tanks and refilling and all that baloney. Um, I want to build my own van custom. It's going to be a lot of work, but... Um, not something I want to do is get involved in uh, a van that's really heavy and just stuff I don't need. I, I have ideas to make it custom the way I want it. So that's one reason. Another reason is it has, as you see, o odometer 273,504 kilometers. Of course, I'm Canadian and we're in Canada, so this is all going to be in kilometers for our American friends. Um, so that's way too high. I want to be like below 200,000, way below, like 150,000 would be nice. Other reason I don't like this one is the stealth factor. There is no stealth factor. It's obviously not stealthy. And finally, it's $11,500. Um, just not going to work. So that's one option some people would like. I mean, it's this for a 20-year-old van, it's been very well cared for. I mean, there's it looks pristine uh, in a lot of ways, especially with that high kilometers. It's been driven a lot. So that's one option I won't be choosing. Let's see what else we got. Go back to my history. Um, here's another van. Now this one's $5,000, so it's half the price, less than half the price of that one. But this is your typical five thousand uh, dollar late eighties. Well, this one's actually early eighties, nineteen eighty two. Has seven seventy eight thousand kilometers. Um, really worn down uh, van. Not what I want. It's got low kilometers, but low kilometers is not necessarily a good thing, because. Well, at a van of this age, that means it hasn't been driven. And if it hasn't been driven, then you could have all kinds of mechanical problems um, with the fuel. Actually, if it sits more than six months, it actually begins to be uh, corrosive to your rubber seals and stuff. So um, I'm no mechanic, but this is from what I've read. So that's not an option. I definitely will not get one of those. No stealth, way too old. I don't want to buy anything older than 1995. Let's see what else we got. Uh, where's the other ones? Oh, another option is a wheelchair van. Now, the op the best thing about this is it's still more, it's more stealthy than the other ones. Uh, the high top isn't really a true high top. So maybe if you're 5'8 or 5'6 or something, you could get away with this. Um, but I 
if I'm going to get a high top, if I'm going to buy a new van, it's going to be exactly what I want. Um, I do like the fact that it has those uh, barn doors that open out. Um, but I don't like the fact that it's dark. I want a light colored van, preferably white, so that it blends in with the other vans. So let's see, that one's $6,500 and 200,000 kilometers. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what else we've got. Okay. Camper van, wheelchair van. All right, here are some other options that are interesting. This one is uh, $5,900 and it's a standard cargo van. Um, now this one has 206,000 kilometers. It's getting closer to what I want. Now, I can't tell if it's a barn door or a sliding door. I definitely want the barn door. If it's a sliding door, I'm not going to buy it. So, uh, yeah. So that one, um, a little bit higher than I want in terms of kilometers. Of course, there's no high top, but um, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, Ford Cargo van, only 142,000. Now we're talking. Of course, there's no pictures, which kind of drives me nuts. Um, $5,000, 142,000 kilometers. It says new brakes, which is actually good that they have new brakes um, because that's one thing that's going to wear out. Brakes and tires, something you're always going to have to be um, dealing with. I like that it's an E250. I'm not going to get a uh, E150. Um, this person's probably um, not um, having English as their first language. They don't know how to spell brakes. No need nothing. It's not exactly gra great English grammar. But anyway, I would I would look at that one. I would call them and ask them if they have um, if it has a sliding door. And if it didn't, and I would leave it out. But if it did, I would consider it. Let's see. Here's the Savannah. Um, I don't like this one. I don't like all the windows. Um, for me, being in 100% urban stealth guy. Um, windows are just a pain in the butt um, because you have to, for me, I want to block all the light out so at night nobody can see that there's a light shining in there. And um, I also, I don't know if that door is closed properly. Um, so let's see, the price is, it's a year, doesn't say, well, it's $4,600 and it looks like it's a night, it's a 2000 van. 216,000 kilometers. So that one's not going to happen because of the windows. I am going to be picky. Let's see. This one's a 2002 Savannah. $8,900. This one looks pretty good. Look at the condition of that paint. That looks good. Looks like it's been well cared for. Now this one has 152,000 but it's also $8,900. Huh. That one I would put on the short list. Let's see what else we have. Ba -ba -ba. Trying to make sure I didn't skip anything. 2007. Now, here's a $10,000 van. 2007. Let's see how many kilometers it has. 97,000. So the price is getting up there. And the other thing that would make me hesitate on this one is that 2007 means that your car insurance is going to be more expensive. So right now I'm paying about $100 a month for my 1999 E150 Ford. And I imagine that um, as you get newer, it's going to be more expensive if you want to have comprehensive insurance to cover your van in case it gets broken. Or stolen or lost or crashed or whatever so yeah that's a concern the high price and the, the higher year means that it's going to be more expensive here's a 2003 7500 dollars and let's see how many kilometers 215 a bit high yeah that's too high for that price but i do like the expresses the express is the van that i i'm kind of 
aiming for more than anything. Um, got the sliding door. I would rule that out. So what I'm looking to do here is... Um, actually, there's one I want to show you on here. That's, let's see if I can find it. Uh, it's got the interesting layout. I'm probably not going to be able to find it now. Oh, here it is. This one. If this was available, I would buy this. But I actually emailed this guy and he said it was sold. This is a fiberglass body. And I looked at the um, statistics or the dimensions and you there's full standing height in there. And it's very aerodynamic, which is going to cost less on gas. And um, it would have its challenges because of the curved walls. And because it's fiberglass walls, you'd have to uh, put some thought on how you're going to build it out because you can't drill into fiberglass, obviously. Um, this is the back. Uh, interesting. And this is what it looks like open. Let's get a full shot of this view. So that is an interesting setup. Now what I would want to do is I would want to put a door right in front of that between the um, passenger door and the rear wheel, uh, like a, put an RV door. And the great thing about fiberglass is you can do that. Um, it might cost a couple thousand dollars or I have no idea really, but that's what I'd want to do. Um, having a big, huge door at the back like that, if you're parked, like parallel parked, it might be hard to get in there and open it and have access. The other thing is everybody can see in there. And the other thing is, it's quite open, so if it's raining, I don't know if rain's going to get in there or not. Anyway, I would seriously consider that. If that was, uh, let's go back here. If that was available, I would seriously be con considering buying it. It's 208,000 kilometers, a bit high, but it's got a lot going for it, $8,000. So that's a nice one. Let's see what else we have. Uh, where am I going here? Uh, okay, there is one here I wanted to show you. I'm getting near the end. Actually, it might not even be on here. I'm going with my email account. Oh, there it is. It's up down here. Uh, this is, uh, they've named this Van Barry. And this is basically almost perfect, except for two things. Number one, if you can see in the top left hand corner there, $9,000. And it has 200 and... Let's see what the description says. Go to add description. It has uh, $9,000. And where is it? Uh, I can't see it in there now. It's probably in this text. Let's see what it says. Blah, 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 44,000 road trip, seven feet tall inside, um, has an inverter and two six volt batteries. That's good because that's going to save money I'm to buy that. Anyway, I remember reading this before and it's, let's see if I can find it on here. I don't see it. It's 238,000 kilometers. Oh yeah, it's on the odometer. Can I see that on here? Let's see. 200, yeah, you can barely see it. 238,000 kilometers. So $9,000 for a van with that high kilometers, meh, it's really hard to, to spend the money. So my thought is, buy a van for about $5,000 and then spend the four or $5,000 and put a roof on it. That way I would get, see, that's pretty nice. That way I would get exactly what I want. I could buy the low top, and um, it would have the barn door, it would have low kilometers, good body. Um, so I'm thinking of, of going that route. Now, do I really want to spend $5,000 and put a roof on a van? Not really. But I don't want to, I don't want to settle for something that's not going to be exactly what I want, so... This one is tempting. It is tempting. It's in Victoria, which is 
on Vancouver Island, which is a huge hassle. It would be like two hours ferry ride to get there to check it out. But um, I don't like the sliding door, and I don't like the price, and I don't like the high kilometers, but I love that high top. And I love the fact that it's stealth. I mean, you wouldn't, that's way stealthier than a camper van. If you can see behind the rear wheel there, there's um, a 30 amp plug in. Anyways, so yeah, guys, this is uh, what I've been looking at and trying to decide all the ideas. I think the best option is like what I said to get a, a van that's like, um, let's see, where's those one of those good ones? Like this one. Well, actually, not that one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, all those van pictures. I don't know. This one, maybe? 2002 with shells? Yeah, this one's pretty nice. Getting a van like this, I can't tell whether this has the... Yeah, it has the barn doors. You can see because it's got the hinge there. Um, so that would be good. Getting a van like that and putting the roof on myself and then building the interior myself. It already has the partition, which is nice. So that's the, the process I'm thinking through here. Do I want to buy a van and put the roof on myself and get exactly what I want? And I'm costing me between ten and eleven thousand dollars. Or do I buy a van like that nine thousand dollar one, the high kilometers with the roof already on it? Eventually it can always replace the engine. Um, so pros and cons. There's lots of pros and cons. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to leave it at there, and um, I continue to think about this. Of course, I'm not in any big rush. I mean, I, I kind of do want to get this over and done with, and I don't want to spend forever thinking about this stuff um, uh, and get on with my life kind of a thing. And, I, you know, the sooner I start building it, it's going to take me a long time. So if I could build it by be done building it by September. I have um it's gonna have some time off in the summer, so that would be nice to get it done and over with and just move on and not be so focused on this silly van thing. Anyway guys, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Take care and uh have a good night and I'll catch you on the next video.